unit, from my understanding, has substantial damage. It did come out through the balcony door and spread upwards on the exterior, but not inside. Uh, the unit above has smoke damage, as well as the 26th floor in the hallway. They're still ventilating that uh, and trying to clear the smoke and the smell out. Um, the unit below has water damage uh, from the fire attack and uh, it's seeped through. And one person from 2609 was transported um, with smoke inhalation and minor burns to their hands. Uh, that's all the information I have at this point. Um, I know they're trying to isolate just the affected units so that the people can return. Um, well, there is, there, there's carbon charring for, on the exterior for three floors, but that doesn't mean that the units are affected. It's smoke from the, ex when it went out from the exterior, and uh, it's gone up the exterior of the building. So it's not affecting the actual units. It requires a lot of uh, personnel to do it because uh, we typically don't use the elevators. So uh, our protocols with our high-rise protocols is we, if the, if the elevators are functioning normally, we'll go to two floors below, and then from that point we'll walk it up, and the fire attack will be from either the floor below or the, the, or the fire floor, depending on the, uh, on the situation. But it does require a lot of people because we're shuttling uh, equipment and bottles, etc., up at least to the 24th floor as well you know so all the equipment all the manpower has to go up and there uh, so there's a lot of people here that uh, over and above that we would have for a normal fire well i'm not sure how many stairwells are in this building but the stairwells were all open for evacuation except for one one uh, stairwell is dedicated for the fire staff, fire personnel, uh, to bring the equipment up as well as to ventilate the building. So that one stair shaft is used as, as a ventilation point as well to get the smoke out of the building. Yeah, and being a high-rise building, they're designed so that the units are, are separated from one another as well as from the corridor to the units. So in a high-rise building, you have the option of staying or going um, because they're, they're the, the, the design of the building is such that the fire should not spread from unit to unit or above or below. Um, so in this type of a structure, they have the option that they can stay in their unit, but if they decide to stay, then they have to stay for the duration. Part way through, you can't decide to leave.